everybody this is Sulfi and today I'm in Budapest Margit Island so in the summertime one of the things you need to do is go to a Fordo which is a thermal bath so today I'll be going to Palatinos and in the background you can listen to the musical uh, fountain musical fountain of Margit Island and I can show you right now it's beautiful I go and dip my feet. That was the musical fountain of Margaret Island. It was not working for 2020 because of COVID pandemic, but now it has begun all over. And especially in the weekend, they play a lot of songs. So it was a beautiful time. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm again on my way there. So you have to walk, uh, the Palatinos is located in the center. So you have to walk for a couple of minutes within the Margaret Island. And then you can just hop in. So some tips if you are planning to visit the thermal baths or furdos in Budapest. One, get your own slippers and towels or else you will need to rent it in, in, um, in the furdos. Second, if you are planning to swim in the thermal baths, you need to get a swimming cap. If you don't have a swimming cap, they will not allow you to swim in the pooling areas. And three, if you can come in the weekdays, you will enjoy less crowd, so it's good. And also, I think it's cheaper in weekdays, but however, uh, weekends is very happening and you can join them as well. And uh, if you're planning to visit in summer, I will recommend you go to Palatinos mostly because it has this outside pool and they have a lot of colorful rides and it's not like thermal water. But if you're planning to go for winter, you can enjoy the thermal waters. They're very nice, I have experienced, and they are very well recommended. And there's quite a few in Budapest, so you can choose from. The biggest one is Shencheni and it has lots of um, lots of thermal options, spas, massages. It's, 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 it's an experience and you can enjoy it. But however, I found it was too crowded and too many things to enjoy in a short time. But yeah, but today I'm going to experience Palatinos. So I'm very positive about that experience. Tony. Where are we today? We're in Palatinos. And? And uh, Palatinos. <laughs> Palatinos Strand. Palatinos Strand. Let's go. Let's, let's go. There is very clean locker and changing room here. You can bring your items and get a locker with your band. And then this is the Palatinus.
ones. So one information that there is actually some lockers that you can rent that's next to the pool. So in case you're bringing your camera, like I got my camera and my phone, and you definitely want to keep them in a good place, safe, before you go to the pool. So there are like lockers all around the pool. There are limited numbers, so if you get lucky. So we got lucky and we got a locker there. And you can actually rent it and lock it with your bracelet. That was a good one. I was kind of hoping or else I had to go back to the changing room and open my locker and keep my stuff here and then be back. Good point. So the pools outside, these are the normal pools, so you have like, these are not thermal bath, these are the normal cold water, uh, but there are pools inside and there are thermal, thermal pools, so it's super hot, I don't recommend you to go to thermal baths now, but in the autumn and winter, definitely go, they're super amazing. And this one here is the wave pool, so there is a big wave that pushes the people, I think it happens once in every hour and also there are like huge slides here this is the other part other section of this um, of palatinos so all in all palatinos is super huge and it's noon time and me before i go to the pool i just want to take around and capture them and then i'm going to enjoy the pool so palatinos is huge i think you can easily spend a couple of hours here and i I just saw how big these lights are. They are so amazing. Damn. Totally worth it. I'm gonna show you in a while. Sure. Sure. These are huge. God, I'm so scared. I think I'm, go I'm going to do the yellow one and the purple one. No, the orange one. The orange is so scary. Did you try them before? Damn, they look scary. Did you try the orange one? Yeah. Don't you just like fell? No, see. This. It's fast. Not as fast as the yellow one, though, I think. After the water slide behind, there is a, a huge green area if you want to go and chill and relax with the family. The water slide marks the end of the water area. So, Pelotonis is huge. I'm going to go back and finally get a dip now. I just wanted to see how huge this is. This is my first time here. This is amazing. I think it's going to take more than a couple of hours for me to enjoy entirely.
so I am here for a couple of hours already and I have used every part of this uh, Palatino's part and it's amazing so good I am taking a break now and then I will hit the pool again but what I really enjoyed is this wave pool that was very cool so every time I think it's like once in every hour this happens and before five minutes before it starts they make an announcement for people to start gathering there so this time I'm not going to join but I'll be recording so I'll be outside and you can see how does it look like and also the slides were quite interesting as well they look very scary but once you're on there they aren't so scary it's actually quite fun I see the wave pool have already started goes on for like 10 minutes or so it's quite fun I have been there uh, it was actually very nice people enjoying children and um, regarding safety they have this lifeguard in every corner of different kind of pools here so I would say that they are taking it very seriously and, and they're very serious with their rules so here apart from the swimming pool in the other pools where you have all this of uh, relax massage spas or everything where people are just swimming to relax and um, there you're not allowed to just jump uh, make like big dips so the lifeguards are very careful with all these things and in the swimming pool here in the swimming pool I see that they're not asking for you to wear the swimming cap to swim so they're pretty chill there but but we, we are safe here the lifeguards are very careful with the rules So you do have to pay an entry fee when you come here and it is around 3,700 foreigns for an adult and I think that's around 10 euros so I think you get a very good deal here. Um, it's completely worth it, you have so many things to do and I think today is a very nice day. It's breezy, uh, it's not super hot that I'm just burning, you, you, there's a very nice breeze that you enjoy, it's not super cold, it's, it's a perfect weather. I, I totally recommend this place and this place is within Margate Island so you also get a chance to see the island it's very beautiful I recommend this place how was your experience in Palatinos? it was good it was refreshing uh, I enjoyed doing some sun tan uh -huh. and swimming and slides. It was perfect. Great. Super nice. Yes, absolutely. So that's it from me. Goodbye, Palatinos.